Hey friends, welcome back. Hey y'all. <laughs> We're gonna make homemade chicken nuggets. This is something that we've always wanted to do. So Derek saw a reel where you can make homemade chicken nuggets using chicken and a potato. Yeah, it was interesting. We're gonna see, is homemade better than store-bought or takeout? I hope so. I need a good homey nugget. Well, stick around, there's gonna be a lot of shenanigans if we're in the kitchen together. Look what you did, you little jerk. <laughs> Aprons on. Let's go. So we're doubling it. We're gonna do two different batches. For the recipe, it's one chicken breast, one potato, cooked, and then a half of purple onion and an egg. So you just pile it all in there. Piling it in. A tablespoon of cornstarch. And then a teaspoon of pepper. A teaspoon of salt. And then an egg. No shell, no shell. Sweet. <laughs> no whammy, no whammy. What's tripping me out is that there is no like garlic in this recipe, no garlic powder or garlic salt or even fresh garlic. I'm excited, because I've been wanting to learn how to make chicken nuggets for a long time. This has like been on my bucket list, so. I pulled a Kimmy. Look what you did, you little jerk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you have an air fryer? I need a new one. And which one do you have? Where did we get this? It was Costco. I don't remember. It was a few yeah. years ago, but I'm ready for a new one. I get asked a lot for air fryer recipes. I don't have any. Yep, I have something on my face. That looks like it could be the cornstarch. I don't remember touching the cornstarch, but there's stuff on my face. So let's move on. Things come out okay in them, but I noticed that you can't put a lot in. If you can't fill this basket, we just, maybe it's the things we're making in it where you have to layer it, but I don't know. If I can't do big batches, I I still am on the fence about the air fryer. So let us know if you have an air fryer, which one do you use, what do you like, what are the tips and tricks with the air fryer? I don't know, am I missing something about air fryers and how they work? This isn't one that makes a lot. No, I know, but are there air fryers that like, you can layer, like do they have little shelves that you could put? Your mom's I, has shelves. Really? Because mm -hmm. I'm just not, 100% convinced on air fryers. Like, I don't know. If I just can't throw a bunch in there, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You just like to cook for 100 people. I figure if you're gonna cook something, batches. Batches, batches, batches. But I'm excited. Okay, I know I sound like a whiner, but if we like them better than the air fryer, we're gonna be here all night. But I am excited to try this recipe. I hope it's a good one because you know what, but once we do this first one, if we notice it needs more seasoning, yeah, we then we can add we more, because I am shocked there is no garlic in here. We're just gonna or any to... type of herb. We're just gonna have to play with this and figure it out. We're in the kitchen playing. Let's see if I can get them. I think my hands are too oily, but it's about a chicken nugget. Probably actually put it on some parchment. You could put parchment paper in an air fryer? Just like you can in an oven. See, I know nothing. Did anyone in the comments section mention like them being sticky or an easier way to do it? Supposed to read the comments? I always <laughs> read the comments, Derek. Okay, so the guy said put him in the air fryer until golden brown. 360. I have to say, Mr. Turtles, that the apron color on you. Does it work? It does, it's lovely, it's lovely. Okay, so someone did ask in the last video why you're called Mr. Toodles. I did comment back to them about why, and so I thought I would address it here. So, at the end of most of my videos, if Derek was in the room, he would yell, Toodles. And so then, I don't, I don't know how it started, but then the audience started calling him Mr. Toodles. But I know over time, we've got a lot of new people that had joined, especially with all the grocery shopping and building your food storage videos, so they haven't seen that part of Derek. And it's hilarious because whenever I would end a video, even if he was walking by or in another room, he would yell, Toodles. So it's cute. I think it's cute that you guys made that up for him. So it's adorable. And that blue looks good on you. <laughs> hey y'all. I spritzed them with some avocado oil. 15 minutos. We'll check on them. Okay, here's attempt one. We need to make them thicker. The potato definitely overpowers the nugget for sure. I definitely think it needs some garlic salt in there. So we're thinking maybe like a half of half one or half and a quarter. So we're gonna add some garlic salt and make them thicker and we'll see how round two goes. Well, those look better. They're yeah, thicker. I just, I didn't flip them soon enough. So they are, to they're, you a little burnt? They're a little burnt on the top. Oh. I should have flipped them at about like nine minutes. So to the batch, we added a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Do I have anything on my face now? Jeez. 
Mm. All I taste is potato. It's better with the garlic salt for sure. That's exactly what I needed. I need garlic. I think if you're gonna make chicken nuggets with potato, use less potato. Way less potato. But honestly, well, the flavor is not bad outside of the the. Loss but the of potato, potato, but still, potato is a strong. It just it overpowers it. It takes it. We're gonna add some different seasoning. All right. So this recipe is from ahead of time. They use. Half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, salt, ground black pepper. And then they have a coating of panko breadcrumbs and an egg and like oil. Yeah, outside of it. Yeah, on the outside. We already did garlic salt. Paprika, I think, would be fantastic. I would say throw the Italian seasoning in. Because that's why really? I Yes, that's why I say to him, like, no herbs? That's why I was so surprised. It's nuggets. It's the sauce that's the magic. <laughs> no, if you can't eat a nugget with it tasting good without dipping it, then why make it? So what we're going to do with the other batch, we could make more nuggets. I say let's go for it. I'll just add some of this in, see what we get. We'll see what we have, if we can make it better. And then if not, we've tried, and then we'll make another batch, and we'll follow her recipe to the T. We're going to get this stir. You know, one time we wanted a really, really good Salisbury steak recipe. So we looked up some and then one night I made four different kinds of Salisbury steaks. The four recipes were all different and we found our winner. And that is the one that I share on the channel. It is so good. We tweaked a few things. Go grab it down below. So get in the kitchen and try. You never know what is gonna end up being like your new go-to favorite thing. We're gonna do the Italian seasoning and the paprika. Let's stir this up and get up the I'm next. Pulsing. Let's get this next badge into the air fryer. And if you have a homemade chicken nugget recipe that you absolutely love and would like to share with Mr. Toodles and I. Please. <laughs> I'll make it and I'll even share it and shout you out on the channel because we really want to get a good chicken nugget. It's it's good that we learn things in you know all our takeout recipes that we like, like learning to make it on your own. And because fast food is just so expensive. Our oldest daughter and her husband were here last night and they ran and got some Wendy's for everybody, right? We, and not everybody got like a meal with a drink. The total came to $70. It was disgusting. You can't afford it. I mean, we can't afford to eat out. Let's learn to make our favorite takeout things. Last vlog that we did, we made Indian and Thai food, and it was delicious. Oh, it was actually really good. Fun leftovers. It was so good. Yeah, the leftovers were really good. A little bit better. Yeah, those look good. So we're gonna taste it without the sauce first. Mm. But the flavors go. The flavor is much better. Wow, much better. I like it with the Italian. Now with some. It's just a golden barbecue sauce. It's like a South Carolina mustard. Mm, that's good. I have to say, with the other seasonings, it's better. And then with a dipping sauce, it's good. Not very crispy though. Mm. I want a crunchy nugget. Crunchy nuggies. We're gonna have to do some math on that recipe from that lady's website because we only have another chicken breast. I'm nuggied out. I'm now bored with nuggies. No, 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 <laughs> Derek. We're gonna, we're gonna get this. No one likes a quitter. No one likes a quitter. I'm not quitting. I'm just nuggied. <laughs> <laughs> Shaylee just came and tried that second nugget. And she likes it. She even put it in the dipping sauce. You liked it? Mm -hmm. There you go. Hey. Okay, we're gonna do another batch and we'll see if you like that one too. But you like that? Mm -hmm. It wasn't a fail. It, I'm, I'm just picky with my nuggies. I know you're picky, but like the child liked it, Derek. Uh, it's, it's a win. That's a win. That's a win. For the crunchy outer, um, she's using panko breadcrumbs and we don't have any. But so instead, we're gonna just do plain breadcrumbs. I have plain and I have an Italian, but since we're gonna be putting Italian seasoning in with the nuggets, we'll just do plain. Adding our chicken. So we're going to need an eighth of a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and paprika, and fourth teaspoon of salt, and an eighth teaspoon of black pepper. Okie dokie. Pulse on and off for a minute to get thick consistency with small chunks. 
Apply water to your hands to prevent sticking and shape the nuggets by hand into rounded one fifth inch long square or rectangle. Dip them, baby. I want them crispy. Um, they say you could just dip them into the breadcrumbs, but if you want a thicker coating, deep in beaten egg first, then the breadcrumbs. And let us know, what dipping sauces do you absolutely love dipping your chicken nuggets in? I love honey mustard. You are a honey mustard fan, mm -hmm. sister. Love honey mustard. So the recipe says that once they're made, to lay them on a baking sheet with parchment paper and pop them in the freezer for at least an hour. So these are going to cook at 350 degrees for 12 minutes, but they say if you're doing like extra crispy, do it for another three. We're gonna keep an eye on it. We're gonna cook them for about 12 to 15 minutes, flip them halfway and just really keep an eye. Okay, they're done and we are praying that they taste good. I hope so. But they were juicy. I mean, yeah. look, the juices would come out, and that's what sort of got look at that. crispy on there. That was just the juice, so I'm hoping. Well, we won't know until we try, shall we? And then the true test is the children. They are cooked. Mm. I may have cooked them a little too much. Garlic crunch. I think if I would have took them out just a couple minutes earlier, mm -hmm. they would have been perfect. You did the full 15, huh? If they actually went for 17, I wasn't paying Ooh. attention. <laughs> My bad. No, if you had taken them out, like you said. Like a two minutes earlier, mm -hmm. been perfect. They're good though. Way better than the other ones. Oh yeah. Uh, this tastes more like a chicken nugget. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. These aren't bad. But I made them pretty thick. You can actually probably make them a little bit thinner. All right, let's have the children try. All right, let's do this correctly. Food! Try the nuggets. First try a bite without the barbecue sauce. What do mm. you guys think? Thumbs up. Is this better than the other one? I like both. You like them both? Mmm. Nice. That's good to know, baby. What do you think, Beans? You've got a funny look on your face. <laughs> I know it's not just because you're not feeling well. <laughs> it's just very dry. Dry, it's yeah. I overcooked it. Yeah. That's my bad. But if they weren't dry? See this? Thumbs That's up. That's all the juice that came out and burnt up. <laughs> <laughs> he gave a thumbs up. Poor Boston has no voice. I think we found a winner. Yeah. And it's definitely something we're gonna play with. It's super easy to make. Yeah. I, I give it the yummy nuggy. So we're gonna leave both recipes down below. If you make homemade chicken nuggets, you love your nugget recipe, and you would love to share it with us, please do. And we'll try it again um, with you guys. Because we want a good homemade nugget. Get in the kitchen, make something homemade. Give it a shot. Screw the store bought. Okay, <laughs> make it homemade. So if you'd like to see some more homemade recipes, click on the videos here. Thanks for joining us. Toodles! Toodles. Oh, you beat me. <laughs>